Hello, gentlemen. Me again. Um, I'm having to reshoot update three again because many of you, um, uh, three of you uh, by the name, but by Miss uh, Northern Leading Modeler and Leading Modeler and Northern Modeler, uh, indicated to me that for some reason my the sound quit on the video uh, from nine minutes onwards. So I'm having to reshoot the video. Um, and hope that the sound does not quit because if it does, um, then there's a big, 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 big issue with my recording software, which is CyberCam, which is CyberLink UCAM, and I will have to investigate further. And obviously, I don't really want to do that because obviously that means I might have to. Obviously, I won't be able to do any videos till it's sorted, or I could do pictorial uh, picture progress. Uh, slideshow videos, I suppose. But anyway, enough of. I'll, but anyway, uh, I'll redo the second update now. Um, I'll redo the update three. I'll redo update three again now, and obviously I'll. Um, I'll. Uh, and obviously I'll um, upload it after it's done. I'll upload this now. Short after this is done. Short. I'll I'll upload this shortly. So. Before I do the usual, before I do the update, usual business of shout outs to Lenny Model Pro 72, Lenny Model Pro, Model Pro 72 Lenny, or as is now called FS, 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 FFS Models, Lenny uh, Model Pro, Model Pro 72, um, FS, 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 FFS Models, Lenny. Uh, basic modeling Rob, Aaron Newlands, Alex Modeling, Kalido One Lewis, Aaron, Alan, Aaron Newland, Alex Modeling, Aaron Newlands, Atomic Dog 32 Brian, Kalido One Lewis, Shane Highland, Making Models Again Gary, uh, Nigel Wells, Cohen C, Marco Armor, uh, Mark O'Neill and Armor um, Armor Empire. Armor Empire, Mark O'Neill, um, Mark Armor Empire, Mark O'Neill, Nigel Wells, Cohen C, Waterloo, Sim 45, John, uh, Warren Blanche, Lon, Sim 57, Pete, That's Guy in Spartech, RASD, RASDV, Callum Wildling, Callum Wilding, Master HQ, Dead Ram Tom, Got Train Boy 220, Golden Eagle, A Mr. Z Kits, A to Z Kits, Andrew Coins, Andy Model, uh, Airpix Street, Mr. Mosquito WS, The Child Modeler, Crazy Kit Killed, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Kit Builder, Crazy Modeler, Hobby Modeler, UK Scale Modeler, Mr. Great Models. Dan Ely Modeling, Daniel E Modeling, Stephen M, Miss V, Miss Miss Vivi Engineering Dark Side, Brandon of BD of BD Model Reviews, Joshy B, um, Joshy B, Joshy B Mod, Joshy B, North Lady Modeler, Northern Northern Modeler, and and um, and uh, and Tom, um, can't remember his channel name, but Tom, I think it's Gamblers. Gamblers sixty nine Tom. Right. Uh, Facebook channel chat Facebook, Facebook shoutouts. Dan, Max, Merrin, Ellie, Media, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley, Billy, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex. Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, John, George, John, 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 John. John, 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 Joe, John, Joe, Tom, Lisa, Lucy, Louis, Lisa, Lucy, Louis, Debbie, Diggs, Debbie, Diggs, Nan, Miss You, Nico, and Charlotte. Charlotte, speak to you soon. Uh, so speak to you soon. See you soon. Um, and yeah. Right. Anyway, take two of update three. Right.
as you can now probably see, I'm hoping you can see this, I, I'm probably going to adjust the camera settings slightly. Laptop, exposure, I'm going to bring the exposure up a bit more. That's better. As you can now probably see, I've as you can probably see, I've assembled the port and starboard. Um, I've now assembled the port and starboard wheel, uh, the port and starboard wheel assemblies, the port and starboard wheel gear legs, um, main landing gear legs, the um, the the wheels themselves were painted in uh the the wheel rims were painted in Humbro 21 um gloss black a, a Humbro acrylic 21 gloss black and then Humbro acrylic 21 gloss black and then the uh and then the tires were retouched up in Humbro 33 Humbro acrylic 33 matte black to just to take off the glue marks and also give the uh give the the, the just to and give the the tires look that the aircraft's actually flown a bit somewhat has actually been in combat has actually been off the ground and and chirped and been and has been not has been off the ground and um has been off the ground and um It's been off the ground and has uh, uh and have, have sustained uh, some some wear and tear basically. So that's the wheels and then the gear leg is painted in Humbro thirty one um in Humbro in Humbro enamel thirty one in Humbro enamel thirty one um uh. uh Grey interior grey green, um, interior grey green, and then in, in, it's painted in Humbro and Humbro 31 interior Humbro enamel 31 interior grey green, and then on the other side you've got you've got the bottom bit which is painted in Ravel 90 Ravel enamel 90 silver, right at the bottom, and also you've got bits of gloss black in there from where the wheel's been touched up as well. Um, the fit of the wheel of the wheels, the in terms of the reels, the the rims fitted to the tires very well, no steps or gaps at all. Same with the um, wheel with the fitting of the wheel of the wheel to the gear leg, no steps or gaps, and it's, it's also the same with the wheel nut. And it's raining just grand. And so, yeah, and the wheel nuts fitted well. So there's the wheel legs, gents. There's the wheel legs, gentlemen. Right. Three, two, one, changing to the rudder. Changing to the rudder. Uh, as you can see, gents, that's the rudder. As, as you can see, gents, I've now assembled the rudder. Um, I've assembled the rudder. Um, I've assembled the rudder up. So uh, again, and I've assembled the rudder. That's the both side, the other side. Um, fit wise of the rudder, really decent fit. No steps, no steps or gaps. 
Uh, no major, no no major steps or gaps to report of. Really decent fit. Um, really decent fit as well. So, yeah. Uh, there's the. So yeah, there's the rudder, gents. Hope the sounds recording this time. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably bicep. Have to bicep the microphone. If if so. I'm hoping not because this has got a this is a brand I'm hoping I don't have to buy a, a, a brand new uh sound equipment gents because of course this um this is a um this is a brand new rig this is a brand new laptop and I really don't want to be forking out extra cash for a microphone and um, actually just saying that where is is that the microphone there it must be so if that's the microphone there, why, why did the sound cut out last time? Hmm. Beyond me. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, that's the rudder. That's the rudder, gents. And yeah, it went really well. Uh, no steps or gaps. Really decent fit. So yeah, that's the old... Uh, So yeah, that's the rudder, and um, yeah, that's the rudder. There's the rudder. So I'll now go to the wings. Right, as you can see, gents. As you can now see, gentlemen, I've now assembled. As you can now probably see, I've got the port and starboard wings. Uh, in painted on the inside of the port starboard wings are painted and I've also painted the uh, and I've also assembled I've uh, painted as you can see this is the port uh, this is the starboard this is the inside the starboard wing it's the upper starboard wing half as you can see I painted the the inside in Humbrol uh, 31 interior grey green interior grey green and yeah, uh, and so I'm prying that up. I've also added the 20 millimeter cannon with its um, 30 with its 20 millimeter cannon uh, with the magazine feed drum there with the magazine feed drum. Uh, fit wise of those two components to the wing, no fish, no steps, uh, no fit issues whatsoever. Really, really decent fit actually. So yeah, that's the wing. And the rudder, uh, that's those two components there. And you've got the, um, yeah, so that's the, that's the wing. That's the, the top wing half. So, yeah, that's the, and you've got the cannon and the, and the magazine drum. Uh, the cannon was painted, the actual cannon itself was painted in Humbrol Acrylic 53 gun metal. And then the, obviously the magazine drum was painted in, Humbrol 31 slate grey in hum in Humbrol 31 interior grey. So there, that's so yeah, you got that. So yeah, they've got the uh, that's the cannon there. So yeah, um, I'll give you a couple more minutes on this on the starboard wing, and then I'll show you the port wing. Port wing now because I want to do this quickly because I want to I want to listen to it as quickly as possible. Right, as you can now probably see, gentlemen, um, I've now recorded the I've now not recorded. I've also got I've now got the port wing, the port upper wing. As you can like the starboard upper wing, the interior is is painted in Humbrol thirty one interior Humbrol thirty one. Uh, in, two, uh, in thumb roll 31 interior grey green Luftwaffe interior grey and green uh, what I what the uh, thumb roll 31 grey green for the Luftwaffe um, uh, interior green Luftwaffe interior green
So you've got the 20, so you've got the twice, so you've got the, so yeah, like the uh, starboard wing, you've got the 20 mil cannon there, and then you've got the magazine drum. You've got the 20 mil cannon there, and the magazine drum there, where my finger is. Uh, again, like um, again, like the starboard wing port can port port uh, the cannon that fits the port wing is a really, really decent fit. No steps or gaps, no 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 major steps or gaps at all. Really decent fit. Um, and the cannon, the actual fitting of the machine gun to the the the, the feeding drum to the cannon, again really decent fit. No major steps or gaps. No major steps or gaps at all, so really, really decent fit. And again, like the starboard, uh, starboard wing, the um, the cannon is painted in, the cannon is painted in a uh, Humbrol 53 Humbrol Critic 53 gun metal, and then the uh, the 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 20 millimeter magazine drum, feeding drum is the same color as the interior of the top side of the wing, which is hum. Which is slate grey green, which is interior grey, interior grey green. So that's so there's the um, port upper wing half, the inside port upper wing half. So now I've got the Lower, lower starboard wing half. Uh, on the outside, as you can probably see, I've now, um, as you can now probably see, I've now done the, um, I've 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 painted the ceiling of the the actual ceiling of the radiator housing, of the start of the radiator housing, and that little component there where my finger is. That is the airflow splitter for the 20 mil. That's the airflow splitter, the airflow splitter for the 20 millimeter cannon, for the 20 mil for the um radiator for the starboard wing radiator. As you can see, there I've also got areas around where the cannon covering all painted in in grey green from where it's all ran over foot foot ran out from the inside to the underside, uh the underside of the wing. So that's that. But yeah, that's the uh, starboard wing half. That, there it is from the front on the underside, and that's what it. And this is what it will look like when the. And of course, that's what it will look like when. And of course, it will look. And of course, that's it. What it looks like from the underneath. Again, like the top side, the inside, the ins like the top, the the upper wing half, the inside is painted. Um, the inside is painted Humbrol, um, Humbrol fifty, uh, Humbrol thirty one, uh, interior grey green, enamel in Humbrol enamel thirty one, grey green. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, that's the that's the inside of it, and then that's that that half as well. Right, port wing off. So uh, here's the port wing half, and exactly like the starboard half, you've got the radiator, you've got the radiator housing ceiling here. You've got the airflow split. You've got the airflow splitter. Uh, that's what it looks like for that. That's what it looks like for that. And that's what it looks like from the rear. That's what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from the rear. Again, 31 slate grey for the radi for the airflow splitter and the and the radiator housing ceiling. Uh, the airflow splitters on both actually on both wings fitted really really decently. No steps or gaps, no steps or gaps at all. Um, so yeah, really decent fit. So yeah, really decent fit. And then, like the other wing, I painted the inside of the starboard 
of the port, the inside of the start of the port lower wing in uh, 30, in 30, in, in 31, slate grey, slate grey green. Right, uh, what's next? Radiators. You got the radiators, gents. These are the port and starboard radiators. These are the port and starboard radiator air uh, liquid cooling radiators. I'll show you them together for now. I'll show for the moment. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show. I'll have them for together for the moment, and then I'll show you them individually. Right. There you go. Right, and now I'm going to go to individual. Right. As you can see, this is the. This is the port. Um, I think it's port. I could be wrong. My mistake. This is the starboard rate liquid cooling radiator. And the and its housing. Um, construction of the radiator itself, you have the front fascia and the rear fascia attached to this U-shaped structure. The 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 shaped to this long a, a, a stretch to this very straight attached this stretch rectangular U-shape U-shaped structure. U-shaped structure that goes down, curves, and then goes like that. Goes like that, goes like that, starts off like that, and then as it goes down, it curves, it curves, and then goes like that. So it's a squared, it's a squared, it's a squared U um, effect uh, sort of thing. But yeah, and that really fitted, and that fitted really well. No steps or gaps. And then of course I fitted it to the radiator housing, which is this, which is what it's in, encased in, which is this little, which is this encasement here, which is the radiator is inside. Um, but before I actually fitted it to the radiator housing, obviously I painted it up. So the actual radiator fascia, the grill fascia, is painted in in Humbrol acrylic 33. Um, matte black, Humbrol Critic 33 matte black, and that's the on the front and the rear and the rear, and then the actual sides of the and then the middle part of it is painted. The sides and the bottom are painted uh, Humbrol, not Humbrol, Ravel enamel, uh, in Ravel enamel enamel, um, Ravel. Emil uh, enamel Emil em, uh, Ravel enamel Emil um, 90 silks number Ravel Ravel enamel ninth number 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 90 Ravel 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 enamel silver which is number 90 in their color coding system in their color coding system so yeah and then of course I painted the rest of the and then of course I painted the housing in Humbrol 31 Gray green, gray green. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the that's the port and star. That's the that's the starboard radiator and its housing. And of course, this bit here is the um, this this movable piece here is the radiator temperature control um, system. Basically, when it gets when the when the if the pilot sees on the instruments that the radiator is getting too hot the pilot sh moves the lever the pilot moves the lever on the on the real aircraft the pilot moves the lever uh, pulls the lever backwards inside the cockpit and it pulls this this and it pulls this flap down Just great, it's now come off completely.
it pulls that flap it pulls these flaps down like so so it allows the airflow to actually get through and cool the airflow to get the airflow going through the radiator going through the front side of the radiator through through the front side of the radiator through and then out through the back and it allows to bring the radi the liquid the air the air, the radiator temperature and the temperature of the coolant down and then of course once it's returned to normal operational uh, the it's it's within operating limit within the lot the operating limit obviously it then gets closed up it then gets all closed up it, it then gets all closed up it then gets closed up like so and it returns to like that so that's the starboard radiator and now's the and now for the port and now for the port radiator here's the port radiator housing um, here's the port radiator housing, gentlemen. Exactly the same as the starboard one. Uh, fascias, uh, front fascias, it's the exact same procedure as the starboard one. Front fascia, front and rear fascias glued to the middle part, the middle part glued to the middle part here, the part in the middle, um, between the two face, between the two, the part in the middle between the two radiator face, between the root, between the, between the, Two grill faces, um, and then fit it, and then of course I painted it matte black, matte black, and then silver, and then Humbrol silver for the for the bit in the middle, for the bit in the mid, for the bit in for the for the sides and the bottom of the bit in the middle, for the bit in the for the bit of the sides and the bit for the for the sides and the bottom of the bit in the middle. And then, of course, before I fitted this to the radiator casing, the radiator housing casing, I painted the radiator housing um, 31 slate grey, 31 slate grey uh, interior, 31 interior grey, and then pretty much fitted it and then touched it up. And then, like the other, and like I say, like the other radiator, the Pretty much like the other one, the And then like the other one, if I can get this thing to cooperate, the radiator flap. Please cooperate. You're on video here, Mr. Radiator Flap thing. Yeah, so like the other one, the other, like the other one, the opens. Like the other one, that opens to reveal the liquid cooling. That that opens up as well. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna give you a quick look on this lot. Uh, on these, I'm gonna give you a quick look on these lot.
can you get a quick look on the on everything so you've seen the radio it's these are the interior that's the interior of the lower wings this is the external of the up of the, the exterior of the lower wings with the airflow splitters Of the air with the airflow splitters. Interior of the port and upper port and starboard upper wings with the twenty mil with the twenty millimeter cannons in them. With the twenty millimeter cannons in them, gentlemen, and then of course And then, of course, that's what it looks like from um, side, from frontal view. And obviously, that's the top of the wing. And then, of course, that's what it looks like from the top, from from top side looking downwards. You can also see the 20 mils poking out. And so, yeah, that's the wings, the upper wing, the interior of the upper wing, the inside of the upper wings. Landing gear legs, side, uh, connection side, non-connecting side, what they'll look like when they're connected to the model, there. And then obviously the final component. The rudder, port side, starboard side, and of course those two bits there are the are the connecting, are the are the horn or the connecting horn, are the connecting horns for the uh, for the rudder cable for the rudder, for the cables that connect off the rudder pedals in the cockpit. So yeah, that's the rudder, uh, that's the rudder and everything. So yeah. Um so yeah that's the so yeah that's that that's the rudder all done so yeah um so yeah that's the that's all I've got for now um I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed what you liked I hope you enjoyed what you saw hopefully I'm hoping to, I'm, I'll be playing this video back so I'm hoping to I'm hoping to god that the um sound that the sound hasn't cut out that the sound hasn't cut out and um so yeah with a bit of luck take two will be a bit better in terms of sound and then obviously i'll upload it today um so yeah but before i do go before i do go before, uh, before obviously i've said about the sound and apologize the sound about the last the sound in the last um in the last take of the in the last take um so basically before i go before I go, uh, obviously I don't know. Obviously I don't know. Obviously I don't know when the next update will be because obviously, I've, I've, obviously I'll obviously assemble. I won't. You obviously you won't. You obviously you'll you'll see you'll you 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 will not see another update on me from me on the 109 now till I've assembled the wings, and possibly I don't know about this yet I, until possibly I've assembled the fuselage and put the wing and then put the wings on the fuselage uh, put the wing the landing gear and the, the landing gear ring and the wings onto the fuselage but that I don't know yet uh, that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm working out on my own head at the moment whether I want to do that or not but until then uh, like I said I don't know what I do, until that update I don't know when the next update would be purely because uh, well purely two things well you know, obviously it'll be done. Obviously, I don't know when it'll be because obviously I don't know when it'll be. Obviously, but obviously I don't know when I'll have the fuse, the wings, and the fuselage done. The other reason being, um, gents, the beginning of Ju the second uh, July is going to be a quick July. Next month is going to be quite a busy um, month for me. It's going to be quite a busy month for me. Um, I'm going to be 
on the 10th of June, on the 10th of July rather, I'm going to be going to, on the 10th of July, I'm going to be going to, uh, I'm, on, the, on Saturday the 9th of July, I'm going to be going up to my god, I'm going to go, I'm going up, I'm going to be heading up to Northampton to be staying at my, to stay at my godmother's, to go with my mum and my, her, and my godmother's partner, and my godmother's partner to watch the, the, uh, um, the British Grand Prix on the sun on Sunday the 10th of July and then of course the week after Silverstone it's Farnborough it's Farnborough to it's the Farnborough it's the 2016 it's it's the 2016 Farnborough International Air Show and then after that it's I've also uh, a couple of weeks after that in August I've got Airborne I've got Eastbourne Airborne to go to as well and this weekend I'm going to be going down to New Romley at um, you know, I'm going to, be going to be going down to New Romley in Kent, in Kent, New, in New Romley, a place called New Romley in Kent, because it's the trains and traction event that they've got there. I might get my mum to take the iPad and film that, and film some of the event, and film the event, um, film the event, and I'll possibly connect it to the, and I'll possibly use the video, and I'll upload the, the video of the event um, uh, when I get back. Obviously, I don't know that. Uh, I might, I might not. But obviously, I'll see. I'll see if I do. You'll see a video. If I do, you'll see a video from me on that. But if you don't, uh, obviously, yeah. If you don't see me video, a video on me on that, you won't see me a video on me off of me till uh, on, on other. Um, you probably if you, then you won't see a video off of me until the next update on the one hundred and nine, and. Poss and I might possibly film. Uh, I might possibly film. Um, take the uh, iPad along to film Farnborough, but I don't know yet. So you might get a video. You might get a video from this week, from what I'm up to this weekend. You might get a video for Farnborough as well. But other than that, other than that, uh, I simply just like I say, I'm going to be busy, so I don't know when the update four will be. But to update four, whenever it will be. Paint your hands and face. Glue your hands and face. Don't annoy your parents. Be good for them. Stay safe. Be happy. Have fun and enjoy modelling. And until the next video, and until my next video, until update four, until update four or my next video, whatever, um, until my next video, whether it be update four or not. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so. Gentlemen, thank gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see I'll see you guys on the next video. And I hope thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you very much for thank you thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on my next video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video, gents. Bye, gentlemen. Goodbye, gentlemen.